Zoho Creator Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Zoho Creator, a powerful, low-code application development platform. Zoho Creator is an online platform that allows you to build custom applications without any coding experience. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an account and explore the different features and functionalities that Zoho Creator offers. You will also learn how to create an application in Zoho Creator. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To get started with Zoho Creator, first visit the official website of Zoho at zoho.com. Once you're on the homepage, navigate to the top menu and locate the product drop-down menu. Clicking on it will reveal a list of different options. Look for the Apps section and select the Explore All Products option. Upon clicking this, you will be directed to a new page where you can explore the various products offered by Zoho. These products are conveniently categorized, making it easier for you to find what you need. Scroll down until you reach the Security and IT Management category, then click on Creator within this category. This action will take you to the home page of Zoho Creator. Once you've arrived at the Zoho Creator homepage, if you already have an existing account with Zoho Creator, simply click on the Sign In option located at the top right corner of the page. This will grant you access to your account. However, if you're new to Zoho Creator, you'll need to sign up for a fresh account. Fortunately, there are multiple options available for registration. You can choose to sign up using your email address, Google account, Facebook account, LinkedIn account, or Office 365 account. Select the option that aligns best with your preferences. After choosing your preferred sign-up method, you'll need to verify your email address. Zoho will send you an email containing the necessary verification steps. Locate this email in your inbox, open it, and follow the instructions to complete the verification process. Once your email address is successfully verified, the next step is to personalize your account. Simply follow the on-screen prompts provided by Zoho Creator to customize your account according to your needs and preferences. After personalizing your account, you'll be redirected to your account dashboard. By default, you will land on the Zoho Creator Editor. If you wish to return to your dashboard, simply click on the Zoho Creator logo at the top left corner of the page. Clicking on this logo will bring you back to your account dashboard, where you can continue exploring and utilizing the features of Zoho Creator. Once you access the account dashboard of Zoho Creator, you'll notice that the interface is designed to be user-friendly and intuitive. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find the left menu, which contains various important tabs that allow you to navigate between different features and functionalities of Zoho Creator. The Solutions tab is where you can manage your apps. Here, you will see the apps you have created displayed in a card view. You can also create a new app by clicking on the Create Solution button located at the top right side of the page. Under the Microservices tab, you can view connections, data sources, AI models, and AR sets as microservices that work in tandem with your application. You can add these microservices by clicking on the Create New button. The Environments tab provides a multi-stage deployment space where you can test and publish your application without affecting the production environment. To add an application, simply click on the Add Application button. The Mobile tab allows you to download your application as a rebranded mobile app. You can then publish this app on marketplaces like the Play Store and App Store. Please note that this feature is available for premium users and requires an upgrade. Under the Portal tab, you can create a new portal, which serves as an online, self-service gateway for your customers and business partners to interact with your application. To create a new portal, click on the Create New button. The Users tab is where you can manage users associated with your organization and its solutions through a role-based access control mechanism. You can view the list of users along with their names, email addresses, and status. Additionally, you can add new users by clicking on the Add User button. The Organization tab allows you to set up your company's profile, preferences, and branding information. Under the Governance tab, you can create a set of governing principles to consolidate your organization's security setup. Here, you can configure password policies, enable multi-factor authentication, and more to tighten access control for your organization. The Operations tab enables you to define and manage various operations of your account using a centralized management system. The Billing tab provides access to your billing information. You can view details about your current plan, such as the number of users and apps. 
Additionally, you have the option to upgrade your subscription if needed. In addition to the left menu, you'll find other options in the top right corner of the dashboard. The Account section allows you to manage your profile and account details and access API documentation. The square-shaped icon with dots allows you to switch between different products offered by Zoho. Now, let's see how to create an app in Zoho Creator. Creating an app in Zoho Creator is a simple process that allows you to build customized applications to meet your specific needs. To create a new application in Zoho Creator, navigate to the left menu in your Zoho Creator account and click on the Solutions tab. This will direct you to the Solutions page where you can view any existing applications you have already built. To create a new application, click on the Create Solution button located on the right side of the Solutions page. This will trigger a pop-up window to appear presenting you with three different options, Applications, BI and Analytics, and Integration Flows. Since our goal is to create a new application, so we will select the Application option from the pop-up window. Upon selection, you will be redirected to another window where you can choose how you want to create your application. There are three methods available, creating from scratch, creating from the gallery, or importing from a file. For this tutorial, we will opt for the create from gallery option as it allows us to build an application using pre-built templates. After selecting the create from gallery option, you will be taken to the templates library, which showcases a range of applications available as templates. These templates are divided into different categories to help you find the one that best suits your needs. For this tutorial, let's choose the Sales Management application. Simply click on the Install button within the Sales Management option to initiate the installation process for the chosen application. As the application installation commences, you will be directed to the interface of the selected application. Here you can explore the various screens of the application, such as the dashboard, products, sales orders, and more. You also have the option of viewing the application in different formats, including desktop view, mobile view, and tablet view by selecting the desired format at the top of the interface. To edit the application and customize it according to your preferences, navigate to the top right side of the interface and click on the Edit This Application button. This will take you to the editor where you can modify the design, workflow, and settings of the application to align with your specific requirements. You can modify the design, workflow, and settings of the application. Once you have customized the application to your satisfaction, you can share it with others, such as your team members. To share your application with others, click on the Summary option located next to the Access This Application button at the top right corner of the editor. You will then be directed to another page where you can copy the URL and share it with your team members, allowing them to access and collaborate on the application. Following these simple steps, you can easily create an app in Zoho Creator, choose from pre-built templates, customize the application to suit your needs, and share it with others for collaborative work. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Zoho Creator. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.